Hello friends and family of YouTube. Today I have a 25 FKS. It is a Flagstaff Micro Light. Man, this is pretty sweet. I don't believe I've had one on this channel before, so uh, man, it's gonna be nice to have one to show it to you. So let's check it out together. We'll start on the outside and then we'll go inside. And if this is the first time for you to watch my channel, I do not work for the company that makes these or sells these, so I'm showing you this just the same as you would see it yourself. And I may leave some things off of here because I am not trained, but uh, anyway, out here on the back, we've got a, um, got a camera mount system there. There's not a camera on there, but it already pre-wired for one if you wanna add it. And I'm over at Northgate RV, which is in Ringgold, Georgia. Now, hopefully this will show up on here, but this has a six inch I-beam type frame system that goes all the way through this camper. So man, I like seeing that. That is that is good stuff right there. And you've got a this hitch is, back uh, here where you set up for 30 amp electricity. You've got a dual axle on here. It does have a big slide and it also has a uh, awning that goes over the slide to help protect the seals of it. And right behind that cover is a outdoor shower where you can wash off your uh, sewer pipes or your hands or your dog or whatever you want to. You also have four stabilizer jacks on here as well. And uh, it's already set up with two batteries, two propane tanks and an electric tongue jack. And it's got uh, pre-wired for uh, up to 20 amps of solar that you can hook into that little uh, space there. And this uh, storage door is locked, so I was not able to uh, get in there and check this out. And again, this is a 25 FKS. And uh, so let me show you this small kitchen. We may have a little bit of wind noise here, folks. I do apologize, but I was not able to stop the wind today. Anyway, it's got a two, uh, two burner that comes out through here. You just slide that out. And you've also got this small refrigerator here where the kids can come in here and get a couple of drinks without going uh, into the house and uh, carrying some dirt or sand inside. If you're out at, uh, out at the lake, you can hang your TV out here as well. Hook your electricity of your TV into there and right there is where you hook into the cable or satellite. So anyway, we have a three-step entry. Let's go inside this 25 FKS and see what's going on. And right here is the doorway that we just came into. And right there is your control center where you can control your slide out, your lights uh, inside and outside, your awning. And of course, you've got a uh, kind of 110 outlet set up there. And you've also got a uh, three burner cooktop, got you a small oven, and look at the countertop space that we've got going on. Man, yeah, and let me show you this sink. It's a stainless steel two bowl. Now it does not have the wand that moves around, but this is definitely gonna get the job done. So uh, anyway, let me show you the uh, microwave that is above the stove oven combination. And you've also got plenty of storage right over the uh, kitchen countertop area. And those go back about 14 inches. And right below the kitchen sink, you've got a small drawer here that you can put some sponges, that kind of thing in. And down below, you've got plenty of storage as well. And right beside there, you have four drawers that you pull out. And one of them has the uh, divider to put your knives, forks, spoons, and cutlery and all that great stuff. And look at the storage we have here. That goes back about 18 inches. All right, so let me show you what we have going on here. This is a uh, some theater seating going inside of the slide out. Now again, this is a very deep slide. This is about three foot, maybe close to 42 inches deep. And I do want to go ahead and point out now that if you did have the slide inward, it would block the hallway and uh, you would not be able to get to your bathroom and the uh, bedroom. But I'll show you that area here in just a moment. You've got a faux fireplace that also uh, works as a heater itself. You've got a little bit of storage right there. That only sits back about three inches deep. 
but you could put some stuff behind that little netting right there and it would keep it in in place you got a 32 inch tv with a sound bar that sound bar is right below the tv there it kind of blends in with it and above that you've got a charging station right inside that storage area and that way you can uh, charge your phone or whatever you need to laptop maybe and uh, this is a dvd or cd player and it's also hooked up not only to the tv but it's also hooked up to the stereo system within the rv itself and inside this Dometic refrigerator freezer that is set up for, uh, it will run on gas or electric. And this Dometic is made in the USA. Man, that's quite a bit of room right there. All right, so uh, while I am still in here, let me show you that the uh, air conditioner is up on top of the roof. It is not a wall mounted unit. And like I said, this is set up on a 30 amp, so you would not be able to add one to the uh, bedroom. If you ever see one that has 50 amp hookup, you know that you can put a second air conditioner on it, generally speaking. So here in the bathroom, you've got uh, a small sink and uh, got a little bit of storage down below. And of course, you've got a 110 outlet there where you can hook up a um, curling iron, hair dryer, that kind of thing. And you've got a, uh, let's see if this is a porcelain or a plastic. That is a plastic. Boy, the way it was shining with that sun hitting on it right there, it looked like it was porcelain. It fooled me for a second. And you got some good size storage right there above it. You do have uh, about probably 14 inches deep. Be able to store plenty of linens there, or you could also put, um, put some clothing in there as well. And you've got um, got this little thing here that will keep these sliding doors from sliding back and forth open as you are going down the road. So uh, anyway, this is a good size corner unit. And up in here into the ceiling area, you do have a uh, an area where your head can get up in there. And with me being six foot one, that is necessary to have. And of course, it does have a shutoff switch on the uh, shower head that will help you save some water. And also, anytime you see this on the uh, shower unit, this is something that kind of kind of helps explain it. And you can probably Google that, and it'll tell you more about it. But what it does is it helps recirculate. So uh, you're trying to get as much hot water as you can before you turn this on. That way, you're not wasting water. And so now we will leave the uh, bathroom and head into the bedroom area. And we are headed towards the rear of the camper. And back here is where your TV would go. And it will mount onto that wall back there. You, uh, you've got it ready for your satellite hookup cable or whatever you're using. And you can see this is a good size bed. Looks like a queen. I'm thinking this might be a regular queen size not an rv queen size but uh, beside the bed you have a 110 outlet set up here and you've also got one on the other side of the bed as well and you can see that there's plenty of storage here and you can judge by that depth right there that that is about 20 inches deep and right over the bed they do have a uh, a vent here there is not a fan in it but you could install a fan in there as well if you wanted to and the air conditioner has vents in the ceiling here to blow onto the bed you've also got some speakers into the ceiling as well you could add a fan there like I was saying and I forgot to point out earlier that there is a fan into the bathroom so while I'm back here I'm gonna show you kind of a layout of the land Again, we are facing towards the front of the camper. So I will walk towards the front and show you the view of it. And then once I get to the front of the camper, I will turn around and show you the other direction. So that is looking out the front. I forgot to point out earlier, but that is a nice, nice window view there. And uh, it's also got a shade in there. If you want to pull that shade down, give you some privacy. 
And again, here we are looking towards the rear of the camper. One thing I did not point out, there is no lights in here. So you notice how light and bright it is in here. It is, uh, this is all just by natural lighting. This is not done with any lights. And while you're looking at some of the basic dimensions of this particular model, I would like to remind you that down in the uh, description below where it says show more, you'll find a link to uh, my other channel and that's where I show some of my vlog related stuff some of my travels and just some of my basic things that I go through in my daily life. So I'd appreciate it if you join both channels. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. And if you would hit the like and subscribe if you hadn't done so already. And I've got a few more videos coming to you here in just a few days. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.